Welcome back to Webwise. In this video, we'll be discussing 5 amazing Tailwind CSS tips and tricks that will elevate your web development skills to the next level. Tailwind CSS is a popular utility-first CSS framework that enables you to quickly and easily build custom designs. We'll delve into the following 5 Tailwind CSS tips and tricks in detail. 1. Flow root. 2. Space between. 3. Rain. 4. Color opacity. 5. Headwind and Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Let's get started. Flow root. The flow root utility creates a block level element with its own block formatting context. This is an incredibly useful tool for creating complex layouts. When you apply flow root to a container element, it contains all of its child elements within its own formatting context. This means that any floats or absolutely positioned elements inside the container are contained within it, rather than flowing out and affecting other elements on the page. To use flow root, add the class flow root to your container element. Space between. The spacing between utility allows for precise control over the spacing between child elements. This feature can be essential for creating clean and modern designs. To control the horizontal space between elements, use the space X amount utilities. To control the vertical space between elements, use the space Y amount utilities. You can reverse the order of elements, use negative values and apply them conditionally based on hover focus and other states. This evenly distributes the space between child elements, resulting in a clean and modern design. Ring. The ring utility is a useful tool for creating outline rings with box shadows, which can add subtle visual interest to your designs. With ring, you can create a border that is separate from the element's border, allowing you to add a ring of color around an element without affecting its layout or box model. To use ring, add the class ring to the element, along with the ring modifier to set the color and size of the ring. Color opacity. To change the transparency of a color, add slash value to the class that corresponds to it. This technique can be applied to text, rings, borders, backgrounds, and almost any other utility that has color settings. Feel free to use any value defined in your opacity scale. However, if you need to deviate from your design tokens, you can use arbitrary values. Headwind and Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Finally, We'll explore two incredibly helpful VS Code extensions, Headwind and Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. These tools can help you manage your Tailwind classes, autocomplete class names, and even highlight errors in your code. Headwind is a utility-first CSS class sorter that helps you organize your Tailwind classes and keep your code clean and readable. It can sort your classes alphabetically, group them by type, and remove duplicates. Tailwind CSS IntelliSense is an autocomplete extension for Tailwind classes that makes it easy to quickly find and use the classes you need. It can highlight errors in your code and show you the CSS generated by each class. To install these extensions, search for Headwind and Tailwind CSS IntelliSense in the VS Code Extensions Marketplace. That's it for this video. We hope you found these Tailwind CSS tips and tricks helpful and that you can use them to take your web development skills to the next level. Thanks for watching.